Welcome back. It's been a while since we did a cooking segment. And this is a much more elaborate <laughs> setup and it looks great. It looks great, it looks delicious, and I'm so glad you're here to do it with us, our own in-house chef. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, there you go. So I'm excited to introduce our guests from the California Restaurant Association Foundation. We have Executive Director Alicia Harshfield. Hello. And from Orange Hill Restaurant in Orange, California, Chef Eric Mickle, right? Got it. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Again, I wish we had smell-o-vision. Even we haven't started cooking yet, and it smells so good. Thank you. Thank you. So, Alicia, I know you guys have a deep connection. Tell us about Kraft. And then tell us about what we're going to be cooking here today. Okay, well, we're delighted to be here. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. And um, our foundation is a statewide organization, philanthropic group, that works with high school students. Um, and we also offer scholarships for college, and we offer emergency grants for restaurant workers when they face a crisis. So we're all about co cultivating talent for the industry, helping people get their education, and then when they're in the industry, if they fall on a hard time, we're there to catch them with a safety net and financial resources. So you really are covering them end to end. We are, yes, and we've been around since 1981, and we can't do it without partners. So it's partners and friends um, like Orange Hill and the corporate Specialty Restaurants Corporation, mm -hmm. who give to our foundation in many, many ways, from um, an endowed scholarship to participation in our events to uh, cooking competitions and judging cooking competitions. And so Eric's been involved in, in some of those events as well. So it's a full that's, circle for us to be here together. That's amazing. And I'm so grateful that both of you could make this work because it really sends the message that the whole restaurant world encompasses so many people and so many specialties. And we think of it as restaurants and cooking, but really it's what does it take to get people there? That's right. And that's what's so important about why we work with high school students, particularly in culinary arts programs, is it's the vehicle for opening doors and to discovering passions and to show students and young people the career options that await them. You can't be what you can't see. Yeah. So it's about um, more than um, the things they know and just a wide world of opportunity out there. Well, we're excited. I took a cooking class in high school and that's where it kind of stopped. There was nothing like this to kind of help you get out mm -hmm. into the industry and into the world. Um, luckily, my uncle owned a restaurant, so I started as a busboy and kind of got to work in every aspect of the kitchen. But yeah, my, my a big part of my heart is in the kitchen. So well, that's it. Restaurants employ so many young people. We're really a place where people get their first job, and you're learning very important life skills mm -hmm. from um, how to show up on time you know, working under pressure, working with people. So it's it's a very important thing that we're doing. And by the way, this is just an, I think it's an interesting stat. Uh, the restaurants and um, are the number one generator of sales tax revenue for the state of California. Wow. So we're important to the economy as well. So, anyway. That's actually a really interesting piece of information. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's that surprising. nobody thinks about it because we yeah. say, oh, I have to pay tax on this, but guess what? it does go to fun things in the state, and we are restaurant heavy. Yes. So with excellent food. food. So chef, I think we're gonna turn this one over to you. What are we cooking? So one of Orange Hill's signature dishes is a miso marinated chili and sea bath served with black Thai rice, Chinese broccoli, and a sweet chili sauce. Well, it all sounds delicious. How do you prepare the fish? So we're going to sear this in a nice hot pan. Presentation side down. marinated the, the um, sea bass in advance. And yes, so it's a marinade of miso, uh, sake, and a touch of sugar. Okay. We're gonna heat up our par-cooked black Thai rice with just a touch of Indonesian sweet soy sauce. Okay. So this is caramelized. It looks like molasses. Yep, it has lots of molasses notes. And the trick in the restaurants is we don't have lots of burners, just right. like your home. Right. So I'll throw a pan down and kind of use it as a flat top like this. While oh I'm my. Doing other things, checking on my fish. Mm. <laughs> so you can use this as a to cook other things at the same time. Yeah. 
and a, like a flat surface. I then. never thought of that. That's very clever. Eat, eat trampies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, it makes, it's not about it's not making sense. You have it. to think about yeah. it. Yeah. So we're going to adjust seasoning with a touch of soy sauce. This is a soy sauce that I get from uh, the Pacific Northwest. It's actually been aged in whiskey barrels. It has some smoky notes. So you can see our fish is going good. You want to hear that sizzle? So that's a thick piece of fish. How long and how deep in do you want it to cook through? So I want to cook this particular fish to about medium. So it's about three minutes on each side. Okay. And being careful, since there's sugar in that marinade, that it will start, start to burn on you. So you want to be careful. And, you know, Does it get a crust on it? It will get a nice crust on there. Oh, nice. And we can actually start to see right there. In terms of oil, are you using uh, like vegetable oil or olive oil? Because I know they have different smoke points. So this is uh, just a canola blend oil. Yeah. Um, I use that for pretty much all of my searing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's that is hot and ready to go. Hot. So we've got so quick. And then, but you're known for your 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 meat at Orange Hill. Yes. As well. So we have an extensive uh, steak program there. Yeah, you know, I brought a couple of samples. So we're just gonna sear off our our Chinese broccoli here. And this has already been blanched, so it's already par cooked. So we're just making it hot at this point. Again, Asian inspired dish. So we're gonna season with a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, when, you're, when you're like at dinner time and it was actually in service, it, it already being partially cooked helps speed things up, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you, do you remember what you cooked when we had the culinary class that you participated in? Yes. One of our competitions? I, I do. I remember it fondly. <laughs> uh, it was sponsored by Foster Farms, so we were doing a turkey product at that time. So, we did a meatball with the thigh meat. Uh, Asian inspired, so a lot of these same ingredients, some of the Indonesian soy sauce, some of the smoked soy sauce, and then we did a play on chicken and waffle. Oh, so we took fun. the turkey and breaded it and made a, a waffle, uh, and then we did some fun stuff with beet where we battered it in waffle batter. And was that the winning dish? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that's yeah. That's fine. I will say they always come out with a whole crew of fans that cheer on the teams because it's open to the, the public. That's, that's awesome. wonderful. We pair up a high school student from our program with the professionals. So they get this oh. mini mentoring session and they get to learn. And then Orange Hill um, um, Specialty Restaurants has actually hired some of those students to work for them or do yeah. a, um, yes. an internship in the kitchen. So yeah. it's but there's been some pull through in terms of that. That's um, awesome. That's one a event. wonderful yeah. opportunity. Yes. How great. So it's not all like Gordon Ramsay's kitchens, right? It's it's a little no. more friendly than that. Gordon's great. Uh, I had some time to work with him in London. Oh, yeah. Um, so I spent some, about a year and a half with him. Uh, those kitchens were great, but, you know, very intense. Right. And, you know, I want to run a more mentoring chef teaching kitchen where we take some of those young students like Kiara who just went through our uh, Mandarin training program mm -hmm. and really start to develop them into the next generation. Yeah, That's so. wonderful. Yeah, encourage them along. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, fish is searing. Chinese broccoli is hot, rice is hot, so we can go ahead and start to plate. We're ready to plate? Yep. You're going to pass you the plate? Or do we, yes, oh, we can, we can do yeah, that? Absolutely. Or did you want to plate it here? I can plate it right okay. there. Perfect, we'll get out of the way. So, <laughs> this sauce is kept room temperature. It's kind of a play on like a sweet and sour sauce. So we've got rice wine vinegar, sugar, lots of chili flakes. We're going to take some of our black rice. I think plating is something a lot of people struggle with in, in terms of like, mm. I mean, I know I have like presentation wise. Yeah. Because you want it to look beautiful, but it's really easy to overcomplicate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. So this dish is all about simplicity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we played it very simply as well. The colors are beautiful too. Yeah. Do the styles of plating change? I see occasionally. Now it seems that stacking is very much in style mm -hmm. as opposed to having everything independently on the plate. Absolutely. So we want some height whenever we're doing anything in the restaurant. For that visual appeal. Mm -hmm. And then we've taken some green onion that we just julienned. 
even for a little bit more height. Beautiful. beautiful. Look delicious. Chef, thank you, thank you <laughs> thank so you. much. And thank you both for joining us. This was amazing and something that people can actually make yeah. at home. Absolutely. It's not difficult. <laughs> so something they could follow. If you're inspired, go to it. <laughs> Let us know how it turns out. Yeah. yeah. Well, something simple. Good piece of fish and vegetables. They could make it up with their own variation on a theme. I have a feeling it's going to be coming out of your pop-up kitchen very soon. Possibly. Very soon. Yeah. So thank you again, and we yeah. appreciate you coming to share with us. And we'll be right back. <laughs>